So what is going on everybody out there in the YouTube baseball collecting community? Uh, today what I have for you is another mail day video. Uh, three more cards that I thought you guys might find to be pretty interesting. So I thought I'd show these off real quick. Uh, I'm just going to go through these. Um, first one is this paper version of the 2014 Chris Bryant. It's a pretty cool card. It's in really good shape. Um, really like that one a lot. I got it for really cheap so I thought I'd just pick it up. Uh, pretty stoked about that one. It's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> the next one I got from the same dealer, too, was this 77. Let me get this straightened up. The 77 Bruce Suter. It's pretty stoked about that. A Cubby Hall of Famer. And don't really care about him too much as a player. I mean, he was good. He's a Hall of Famer. But, uh,. Anyways, I picked that up because that was in the 1977 top set that I had that I ended up selling. So I wanted to buy back some of the main rookies from that. And I've already got the Dawson and then I have this one. And I think those are the only two Hall of Famer rookie cards. But I think the other two main ones might have been uh, the Mark Fidrich um, and the Del Murphy. So I don't know about the Mark Fidrich yet, but I know I'm going to try to pick up the Del Murphy because he was an awesome player. So, um, and then the last pickup was this really cool Derek Jeter, and in a way, I'm a little bit pissed off about it. Um, I got it for a good deal, I won an auction, but when I got the card, this stupid card saver was all scratched up, and you can probably see it on the camera. I mean, there's scratches all over it and crap all over it, and then down here in the corner, you can see that little kind of shadow, probably camera probably won't pick it up but anyways right about there there is an indention on the card which I was so pissed about but I got it for cheap I mean it was it was pretty centered and the corners were sharp but it had that indention which kind of killed my vibe a little bit but uh I don't know I'm thinking about picking up a PSA 8 version of it which I should be able to get pretty cheap in PSA 8 there shouldn't be any kind of indentions or anything so I might try to pick up PSA 8 version of that one right there, and I might eventually trade that off to one of you guys if you're interested. Maybe we can do something. Uh, like I said, that little indention probably kills, well, it does kill the value pretty good, but uh, still a neat card. It d displays well. It's pretty nice overall. It's clean, except for that damn freaking indention, but what are you going to do? One of those things, every once in a while you get a bad card. So, But uh, anyways, that is three-card pickup pretty nice some various years and as you guys will notice um one of the things is i i like cards from all years and i like all different kinds of players um i mainly try to do the hall of famers and right now i'm doing the rookie cards and i'll eventually pan off to doing just the regular base hall of famers and stuff like that but for right now i'm really focused on the uh star uh star rookies and hall of famer rookies and um <clears throat> one of the things i'm trying to do too is with the like probably i guess probably mid 90s and up trying to do all chrome versions of all the star players and various hall of famers as well too um so for instance like uh the 2001 uh albert Pujols tops chrome i would try to probably get that one in the chrome version rather than the paper um or the miguel cabrera 2000 tops traded i'd probably try to do that one in chrome as well um one of the ones that I've also got my eye on, too, is the, uh, I guess it's 1997 or 1998 Bowman's Best, or just the regular Bowman, uh, Adrian Beltre. I'd like to pick up one of his before he gets in the 3,000 hit club. So that's just kind of what I'm leaning towards, and also picking up a lot of refractors of the guys I like, just like I showed you guys with the Mookie Betts refractor and stuff like that. I think those are pretty cards, and I'd rather spend, you know, 5 $6 more to get one of those refractors than just a regular base kind of chrome card. I think they look better, um, they have better value, and in the future, if someone like a Mookie Betts gets in the 3000 hit club, a uh, Bowman chrome refractor is going to have more value and be harder to get than just the regular base chrome. So, yeah, just to show again before I let you guys go, it's my three pickups. Pretty stoked, except for that freaking bend in that car, but what are you going to do? Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day. Take care.